here we are. We're ready to try and finish up today. So today we're going to be dry brushing our C, get all the details out from the uh, from our um, gel medium. And I don't know, we can see here, we got the washes up on the edges of the, the ships, some bow wakes I painted in and pulled in, so this should help out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry brush and you know we're just gonna need to use my big big dry brush here. We'll just dry brush very slowly some straight white paint. Alright, and that'll that'll catch our, our wave tops. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and paint the base and the sides of the panel flat black, and that will be the end of our project. So uh Hold tight, see what we got going, and uh, be right back with the uh, start of the dry brush and everything. So while the paint dries on the frame, we're going to do up the flags. Now the way I'm going to do this is with aluminum foil. These are decals, so what I'm going to do is get a straight edge 
the decal will go on over the aluminum foil and wrap around. And then I will use that outside seam to glue to the mast. Now, in the lithographs I've seen of the Monitor and Merrimack and the Battle of Hampton Roads, the Virginia, the Merrimack, was flying this in this flag, stern mast, foremast. The Monitor was flying this, the Stars and Stripes, on the stern mast. It's not depicted with this, with the uh, Stars Ensign on the foremast in the pictures I've looked at. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these two flags on the uh, Virginia and this one on the monitor. So that's where we're going to go ahead. Let me get some water. Now, one trick to this when you're doing it is you make sure you really smooth out the aluminum foil. You do that by getting a very smooth surface and just pressing it really good like that so you can get a nice smooth area. This will make it easier to shape your flags into a natural position that will hold. And once again, the idea is you go with the halfway mark. So yes, I'm creasing my my flag beforehand, but that gives me a good mark. And that's how I will place it. Then I fold this part over onto the other piece of aluminum foil. Then I trim it all out. And you'll see how we're going to do that. So hold tight. Let me go get a little bit of uh, clean water and uh, we'll get right to work on this. Okay? Be right back.
Okay, so got two of the flags. One of the issues with working with an older kit is sometimes the decals are just old. So this one's tore up. It none of them wanted to come off the backing even after minutes and minutes of soaking. So what I'm going to do is we're not going to use this one at all, but I'll just show you see how it's cracking. It's just terrible, but you can adjust these, but we're not going to do any of that until they're fully dry. So what we're going to do first is we're going to attach them to their masts. We'll use a medium cyanoacolide. Actually, we're going to put the glue on the mast. Actually, we're going to open up the tip of the uh, glue bottle. <laughs> There we go. So. Nice little amount of glue on there. And very carefully. I'm going to use some InstaSet to kind of put it in place and there we go. Now the InstaSet will evaporate in a few minutes. We're going to leave it for a bit. We're going to do the same thing with uh, this ensign. Need to trim this straight, like so. So, just set you right there. Put a tiny bit of glue. amazing even when you keep the lid and everything on these super glue bottles how quickly they can just clog up oops we're not going to use that much there we go just enough Oh dear, we're having some, ah, and that's the end of that flag. Well, oh well. 
There is another ensign that she carried, which was the stripes. Let's try doing that one. And there we go. All finished up. So, I ended up having to hand paint the flag. I'm not very happy with it. That's, that's the thing you do when you run into old models with old decals. So, let's take some close-up shots here. Now, one of these days, I'm going to actually spring and get some of the really, really accurate kits for the uh, Virginia and the Monitor. Because, honestly, these are two of my favorite ships. But... Some of those really accurate kits are really expensive, so it might be a little time before I get to one of those. There's that wave that I built up over the edge there to cover that boo boo. So. Here we go. Shot from the front. Now, you see how with that gloss medium, the sea kind of becomes a little bit more reflective and translucent. You know, it's, it gives it a little bit more of an effect. So, I think it, I think it helps. Plus, you get a lot of these little details, like right in here with these waveforms that you're able to put in with your brush so so that's it that is the uh, Lindbergh great moments in history battle of Hampton Roads the CSS Virginia versus the USS Monitor. The first clash of the ironclad ships. And the beginning of the end of the Age of Sail battleships. Okay. I hope you all enjoyed this. Be right back. So, the Battle of Hampton Roads is done. Now on to another old kit. This one is the Thor Moser Carl Rail Mortar. I like building some of these odd things that the Germans had for World War II. I'm really wanting to get a hold of a, um, a rat tank. That's the giant land cruiser tank. So, this kit is the Carl um, Siege Mortar. Uh, she was used in, I believe, Stalingrad during the Siege of Stalingrad. Yeah, let's see. Um... This was an 18 inch cannon. Oh, let's see. It was a mobile self propelled weapon designed originally to smash the impregnable Maginot Line. Um, it saw plenty of action in the Eastern Front where it con contributed, contributed heavily to the destruction of Stalingrad. Oh, one of only six were built. 
So this this thing is a monster. So there's two ways to build this. There's in transport, which is where it's supported between the two rail cars, and then there's um, ready for launch or ready for use. And I think we're going to do the one where it's actually manned and firing. Ah, this looks pretty straightforward. So, all right. Yeah. We'll come back to this and do a little kit opening and review. And uh, until next time, uh, please like and subscribe my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy watching my videos. I enjoy doing them and I enjoy building the, the kits. I mean, otherwise, why do you do this? All right, so uh, until next time, keep on building. Have a great day. See you later.